everybody. I wanted to share a couple of projects I've been working on. I've been making stick pins. There's a lot of stick pin swaps that have been going on, and I haven't gotten the courage to join one yet, but I have been making some, so that's a start. Um, I've made them using a variety of different beads, and these are uh, stick pins that are different than hat pins. I'll show you the difference in a minute. My flip camera is not as clear as some of you all you all's videos that I've seen, so if anybody can give me any tips on how to make the screen clearer, um, mine is the one that holds 30 minutes worth of video time, and I think I only paid $99 for it. So there were some that were a little bit more expensive, and so I'm wondering if maybe I got one that was less good quality. So if anybody could tell me if there's something I can adjust or if I just need to go to a better camera, flip camera. Because like I said, some people's flip camera videos are crystal clear. And I want to get there. So, okay. So, um, these ones are prep pearls on them. The glass bead pearls that I got. Um, a bag of those from Walmart. You get, I think it was $9.99 for a whole, it didn't come in this packaging, but it was $9.99 for a big container. And they're all different colors, pinks, greens, pearl, gray, uh, it looks like a gold. They're all different ones, and they're really nice glass beads, so they're heavy, they're not plasticky. So that's what I used to make these three. This one is the pink one and the gray bead and the pearl bead and I used the stick pin I used was one of these Maya Road trinket pins and it has an acrylic top on it so oh and the findings that I've been using I've been getting a lot of goodies off of eBay I got this entire bag of beautiful bead caps I don't know if you can see the leaf pattern in those. I can get one up close. Well, that's not going to focus. But it had a beautiful leaf pattern on it. And this whole bag was, I think, $1.99 plus free shipping. So, I got those. And these ones are using that same trinket pin. Except for they are using a gold um, bead cap also from eBay now this is like a rondelle any of, you, any of you that are beaters you know what a rondelle is it's a rondelle in the middle with a filigree cap on each side and it's been kind of sandwiched together to make it look just beautiful so I made those three and then once again that was made out of the Maya Road trinket pin those three and then these are um, a very nice heavy glass pearl that I got from Michaels in their um, clearance bin, actually. And this is using a filigree antique brass. Uh, it's actually a spacer bead, I believe. But it makes a nice bead cap. And I used just a regular corsage pin to make that one at the topper. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on the other two, I did the same thing, but I used that gold rondellish looking cap again. I'm all over the place with these. Okay. And those were stick pins. So the difference between a stick pin and a hat pin is this. I, I made these hat pins. This is using a check glass heart-shaped bead with a gold bead cup and a pearl at the top. And if you look, the pins are a little bit longer. And they're definitely thicker. Oops, there goes the cap. And these are... are uh, hat pin clutches, but they're basically, you could buy them specially, 
as hat pin clutches and pay more, or you could just go to the jewelry making section and get earring bags, because it's basically the same thing. I think it's called a barrel clutch. And then here's a, another glass, check glass bead with a um, gold acrylic bead at the top and a copper bead cup that I got from, I believe I got these from Canterbury Lane on Etsy. Same thing. So these two are actual hat pins and the rest of these are stick pins. So let me show you the difference. The stick pin is like I showed you earlier. It's a corsage base or corsage pin with a stainless steel base and it's shorter. A hat pin finding is thicker. It's like a long head pin and you know what? I'm not going to be able to show this because this is the big one. I don't have any more of the smaller ones left. But a, a hat pin shaft is thicker and it's got a flat top to catch whatever beads you're going to put on it and it's more sturdy it's harder to bend this than you would be able to bend a stick pin size so and you can get those at uh, specific places I'll see if I can find the link and what I use to glue everything together I was using just a crimping bead at the base of each one of these and you know use this tool and just crimp it on but that was getting to be a pain because the beads were sliding and moving so I had to go to glue instead and I know some people are using um, glossy accent or they're using diamond glaze to do that and I tried that on a couple of these and it changed the color of my bead the acrylic it had that reaction that bleach has sometimes with plastic, and I, I don't like that at all. So I switched over to, uh, this is from Aline's. It's jewelry, metal glue, works on metal, stones, glass, and beads, instant adhesive, and it bonds all that together. So if you can get a tube of this, I think I got this at Walmart. It was very inexpensive, but this seems to work a lot better. And I know most of us out there have this E6000 stuff, which also does the same thing, but the smell is just overpowering. I suggest only using this if you're going to do stuff outside, because this smell is, to me, I think this stuff is toxic. That's just my opinion. So, um, those are my hat pins and my uh, stick pins. Just wanted to come by and share that with you all. And, uh, oh, I forgot one. This was actually a charm, but it kind of rolled off of the table so you can't see it. There you go. So, if there's any questions, if I can help anybody find anything, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.